Was there a quid pro quo? With regard to the requested White House call and the White House meeting, the answer is yes. I will quote from some of those messages with you shortly. Mr. Giuliani conveyed to Secretary Perry, Ambassador Volcker, and others that President Trump wanted a public statement from President Zelensky committing to investigations of Burisma and the 2016 election. Mr. Giuliani's requests were a quid pro quo for arranging a White House visit for President Zelensky. Mr. Giuliani was expressing the desires of the President of the United States and we knew these investigations were important to the president. I later came to believe that the resumption of security aid would not occur until there was a public statement from Ukraine committing to the investigations of the 2016 elections and Burisma, as Mr. Giuliani had demanded. Everyone was in the loop. It was no secret the leadership of the State Department, the National Security Council, and the White House were all informed about the Ukraine efforts. Let me say, precisely because we did not... Testimony, Ambassador Taylor says that you said that President Trump had told you that he wanted President Zelensky to state publicly as of September 1st. President Trump never told me directly that the aid was conditioned on the meeting. I say to the ambassador in response, I want nothing, I want nothing, I want no quid pro quo. Tell Zelensky, President Zelensky, to do the right thing. This is the final word from the President of the United States. I want nothing. Now my colleagues seem to think unless the President says the magic words I hereby bribe the Ukrainians, that there's no evidence of bribery or other high crimes or misdemeanors. The question is not what the President meant. The question is not whether he was responsible for holding up the aid he was. The question is not whether everybody knew it. Apparently they did. The question is what are we prepared to do about it? Is there any accountability? Or are we forced to conclude that this is just now the world that we live in? Getting caught is no defense. Not to a violation of the Constitution or to a violation of his oath of office. And it certainly doesn't give us a reason to ignore our own oath of office. We are adjourned.